Gestational diabetes is diabetes or glucose intolerance that begins or is first recognized during pregnancy. It's usually diagnosed later in pregnancy around 24 to 28 weeks or six months of pregnancy. Most people know diabetes to be high blood sugar. When we eat the carbohydrate foods, this breaks down into glucose or sugar in our bloodstream. Our liver also acts like a storage locker for sugar. We store extra sugar in our liver to ensure that our cells, especially our brain cells, will have enough sugar between meals and especially overnight. Our brain constantly requires sugar, so our liver drips sugar 24 hours a day. So the two places that we get sugar in our blood is from the carbohydrate foods and also from our liver. People are very quick to blame high blood sugars on food. However, if someone has a high blood sugar first thing in the morning, it's likely from the liver dumping too much sugar and the body not being able to move it into the cells out of the bloodstream rather than what we ate the night before. Before I talk about what happens in gestational diabetes, I'm going to talk about someone who's healthy without diabetes. Here we have the pancreas, the small intestines, and the bloodstream. And this purple ball is the body cell. And these blue spiky balls are the cell receptors that insulin binds to to let sugar into the body cell. So sugar moves into the bloodstream and the beta cells of the pancreas then produce insulin which are these keys here and the insulin binds to the cell receptors and opens up the doorways so that sugar from, can move from the bloodstream into the cells where we can use it for energy. In pregnancy the placenta is the organ that connects the mother and the baby and provides the baby with nutrients and oxygen. As the placenta grows, the placenta produces the hormones estrogen, progesterone, cortisol, and human placental lactogen that can block insulin. Researchers also think it could be related to cytokines, which are a small protein the placenta releases which triggers inflammation and can also block insulin. When the insulin is blocked, this is called insulin resistance. Sometimes it can be helpful to think of insulin resistance as these stale doors getting sticky. With insulin resistance, the cells aren't getting the energy that they need and sugar builds up in the bloodstream. Gestational diabetes starts as insulin resistance from the hormones and the protein produced by the growing placenta during pregnancy. Every woman gets a certain amount of insulin resistance in late pregnancy. Due to the insulin resistance, the beta cells of the pancreas must produce more insulin. In the second trimester, women have 29% more insulin production, and in the third trimester, 61% more insulin production. Gestational diabetes actually develops when the beta cells of the pancreas can't keep up with the increased levels of production and the blood sugars become more elevated.